Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I'm so glad you're here. I've been reading etiquette books since I was a young teen. They've always intrigued me. I always want to make the best choices when attending a wedding and reception, so I have some tips and suggestions for you that you might find very helpful. Let me tell you what they are. Don't invite yourself to a wedding. Save the date cards go out 6 to 12 months before the wedding. The invitation goes out 6 to 8 weeks before the ceremony. If you do not receive either of these, you are likely not on the guest list. Do not contact the bride or groom to inquire or the bridal party or any of their family members. Just realize that because your friends are on social media or maybe know their relatives, doesn't necessarily mean you'll be placed on the guest list. If you do receive a wedding invitation, be sure to respond right away as soon as possible. Let the bride and groom know if you'll be able to attend or even if you can't attend, be sure to let them know as soon as possible. That way you won't be counted. If you do receive a wedding invitation, look carefully at the envelope to see how it is addressed. It may say Mr. and Mrs. That means just the two of you are are invited and not the entire family. So make sure when you fill out the RSVP card, you only put the number of persons that are invited to the wedding. Do not include extra friends or extra people, even the kids. If If they aren't listed on the invitation, then they are not invited to the wedding. What to wear to a wedding. If it doesn't specify formal, be prepared for semi-formal. Formal is a tuxedo or a long dress. Nothing too skimpy to draw attention to yourself. If it's a beach wedding, no shorts or flip-flops unless stated in the invitation. Don't wear white, even if it's champagne. No pale pinks either. It's the bride's day. Let her wear those colors herself. Better to be overdressed than underdressed. Once you've rsvp to a wedding, if anything changes, make sure you let that be known. Seats and meals are reserved and paid for. The bride and groom may still have to pay for your meal, even though you are a no-show. On the day of the wedding, don't go and crash the bridal suite. The bride and her entourage will be getting ready for the ceremony, and there will be plenty of time to visit with all of them later at the reception. Don't be late to the wedding. It interrupts the entire ceremony. If something happens beyond your control and you aren't able to get there in time, just walk in and wait in the back of the venue or the back of the sanctuary quietly so that you can still witness the ceremony without interrupting it. It isn't polite at all to skip the ceremony altogether and then join the party at the reception later. After all, the ceremony is actually why you're there in the first place. Make sure you don't skip the receiving line after the ceremony. The bride and groom want to see you and greet you and their friends and loved ones. Be sure to stop by and greet the bride and groom. When going through the receiving line, this isn't a time for long conversations or catching up on things of the past. It's just a time to go through and greet the bride and groom and their family members to let them know you're there and that you're very happy for them. Greet them quickly and then move along so that others will have a time to greet the bride and groom themselves. When you're going through the receiving line, this is also not a time to ask the bride about her false eyelashes, where she has her fingernails done or what type of manicure she has, whether or not she has a spray tan or has colored hair or extensions. This is the bride's day. Let the bride have all of these things to herself without interrupting or critiquing her appearance. Cocktail hour and drinks. This is a time when the bride and groom are off with their family members and their wedding parties getting photographs taken. This is just a time to give you a refreshment and a little snack to hold you over until the reception. This is not an all-you-can-eat buffet, and they don't plan for more than one to three drinks per person. Make sure you don't overdo it at the cocktail hour. Be sure to take cash with you to the wedding in case there is a cash bar and you would like to buy a drink. Speaking of drinks at weddings, don't overdrink and cause a ruckus. There's no need to draw negative attention to yourself or to distract the wedding. At a wedding reception, if there are table numbers or a seating chart, always be sure to sit where you're requested to sit. Someone spent a great deal of time making the seating arrangements. No complaining at the reception if you aren't happy with the food. After all, you're a guest and you're not the one who's paying for the meal. 
Do not move name tags on the tables. After all, you may be an uplifting spirit to someone at your table. It's always a polite idea to partake in the reception when asked during the flower toss or the garter catch. Mail gifts to the address given on the RSVP or gift registry. You can also mail gift cards online or purchases to that address. Only cards should be accompanying you at the wedding reception. When you have large gifts and packages to take to the wedding reception, someone is forced to gather all of those up at the end of the evening and get those where they are designated to go. It's a very kind gesture to put your phone or iPad away during a ceremony. It's a terrible distraction to be taking videos or pictures during the wedding. The bride and groom have most likely hired a photographer to do that for them. It's fine to take videos or photos during the reception, but it's a great idea to not post anything out on social media before the bride and groom have done so themselves. If you're a family member or part of the wedding party and asked to get in a group photo, make sure you get in quickly and stand still. It isn't fair for the bride and groom to have to track you down or the wedding photographer. It is terribly rude to talk during the wedding speeches or toasts. Other people are trying to listen and may not be able to hear if you're talking. Speaking of wedding toasts and speeches, only give a toast or get up and speak if you're asked to do so. If you're given the option to select between certain meals for the wedding reception, make sure you don't change your mind. Stick with what order you've requested because the catering staff will have that exact amount of meals ready per the request of the guest. Weddings and receptions can tend to run a little long. However, don't eat and run unless you have an emergency or issues with the babysitter. But please be sure to plan accordingly for a long evening. Speaking of eating at a wedding reception, never ask for a take-home box. After all, it's not an all-you-can-eat buffet. At the wedding reception, I would suggest not requesting songs from the DJ unless the bride and groom ask you to do so. Not every bride and groom are excited to have the electric slide or chicken dance played at their reception. While dancing at the wedding reception, have fun, but keep it clean and do not embarrass anyone or touch other wedding guests while dancing. At the end of the wedding reception, once the bride and groom have left, that's your cue to say your goodbyes and leave as well. After all, the venue staff will want to clean up everything after the reception. When you leave the wedding reception, don't take any items with you from the tables or from the wedding reception other than the wedding favors that have been left for you. Everyone dreads the wedding guest that grabs the microphone and tries to speak. Never do this unless there is an emergency. If you need to leave the wedding reception before the bride and groom, make sure you always go and say goodbye and say thank you. If they've already gone, be sure to say goodbye to their family members as you're leaving. I really appreciate you being here and I really hope that you find these tips and suggestions helpful and useful. I would be so happy if you subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the like button. I'll see you next time.